I'm a skinny guy at heart. What that means is that my baseline function is to fast. My body just prefers not to eat. It's really, really weird. Uh, you know, it's a genetic thing, I, I suppose. There's a lot of us that struggle to put on weight and there's also a lot of us that struggle to lose weight. I am the skinny jean guy. So what that means is that when I have periods of poor movement or poor training or just being sick and just doing the absolute minimum, so you know, sleeping on the couch, sleeping in the bed and just going back and forth between those two spots, I'll lose my appetite. It's simple as that. I uh, solely rely on having my appetite spike up because of the work I do in training. I remember a time for a very, very long time, uh, damn near into my mid-20s, uh, struggling to put on weight. Uh, it was until I stopped listening to the general idea of don't, you know, if you're a skinny guy, don't do too much volume in the gym because you're going to struggle with putting on weight. Uh, because lots of volume uses up lots of energy. For me, it was the opposite of that. Now, we're all different, but my uh, experience was that when I upped my volume to doing like 10 sets of 10 of whatever, I remember at the time I used to think about that, 10 sets of 10 of, of pull-ups, you know, when I was freaking 75 kilos, that was a, not a big deal at all. So I would do things like this all the time. And as I was putting in more and more work in the gym, my appetite starting opening up more and more, I started eating more and more, I started gaining weight more and more. Uh, and so now that I'm, you know, doing a bit more work since I've been sick in the last, you know, two or three weeks, uh, I've started eating more. I'm eating more, I'm now 97 kilos, so I think I bottomed out like a 95.8 or something like that. You know, a couple of months ago, I was 104 at my heaviest. Uh, and then I started biking and whatever, and I lost a few kilos there. And then I got sick and I lost another freaking six, seven. Really wiped me out. Um, but, you know, the last few days, I'm like, man, you know, this, this fluid, this supposed fluid that I lost during the sickness, it's not coming back all, all that quickly. So I thought, you know what? Skinny jeans, resolution number one, and uh, just eat. Eat whatever you can. Uh, and what I've learned over the years is that if you struggle to eat, you need to eat junk. <laughs> Uh, so I'm somebody that doesn't like to snack. Uh, you know, that's kind of my baseline. I don't like snacking. I don't like being busy with my freaking mouth. Basically. I don't like, I like having three big meals and I sit down and I eat and that's it. And then I'm done. Um, uh, but you know, when you're struggling to put on weight, you have to eat some junk. And when I say junk, I'm specifically talking about sugar because I think sugar has a, a weird role, at least in me is that when I eat more sugar, I sooner get hung hungry again so if i just eat let's say potato meat and a salad that's my main meal and i walk away after that i feel like i can go hours like six seven hours without eating at all again it's a very filling thing but if i eat the same plate of food and then i just eat a bit of ice cream at the end or eat some chocolate at the end boom i'm back out hungry again in like three four hours it's really weird and so that's a nice little hack that i've kind of developed over the years um, and so, you know, last few days I've been eating ice cream a couple of times a day. Uh, you know, we got some ice cream in the house, my favorite Neapolitan ice cream, which is like the freaking cheapest ice cream you can get. But I love it because it takes me back to when we first came to Australia and I saw a big tub of ice cream. And that was the first tub of ice cream that I saw in my life going, you know, coming from a refugee life, uh, back in Croatia and Serbia, freaking, I've never seen a tub of ice cream, man. It was always like in sticks and you, you, you know, you sometimes get them, but you don't freaking get this gluttony of freaking a tub of ice cream. So anyway, that's kind of burned into my skull and I've got, you know, I get, um, it takes me back, you know, um, nostalgic feeling. Anyway, so I, I eat this Neapolitan ice cream, uh, the three colors with the strawberry, chocolate and, uh, vanilla. Uh, so you know, every time I eat a big meal, I would have some ice cream. This morning, uh, <laughs> something like nine o'clock, I had a bowl of pasta. This is leftover from last night's dinner. And I was like, I was just about to walk away. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me get some ice cream. And so I ate some ice cream. Not that I want to eat some ice cream. I mean, ice cream is always good, but I'm doing it with the purpose of, okay, I'm going to be back and eating again uh, sooner. And so it's not force feeding, but it was kind of, it's kind of like trickery. 
Uh, and today, you know, a bit more volume, a bit more volume yesterday in training. So I need to get back to the 100 kilo mark. I think that's me kind of filling out properly. Um, I mean, I've been stronger at 96 kilos in the past. I feel like this 96 kilo version of me, I still feel flat and weird. I don't know. It, it's it's I'm depleted in some way. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to try and uh, restore back to normality that I was a couple of weeks ago. I mean, uh, basically during that week of sickness, I, I barely ate. You know, now that I think about it, I, I think I went days without eating properly. Um, when I say properly, I don't think I ate anything. I drank a lot of water um, and that was it. You know, I had some Himalayan salts to like replenish the electrolytes. But in terms of food, I don't think I ate much. Um I mean that's how you that's how you explain losing six kilos in a week, right? You know, you're not gonna be losing it if you're freaking eating a lot. Um so yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, go back in the house, eat eat some more pasta, I reckon. That pasta was amazing last night, and I'll have another freaking bowl of freaking um it's not even a bowl, I'm just freaking spooning it out of the tub. Every time I do it, I think about the freaking biggest loser episodes that I used to watch back in the day, like some ten years ago. Dudes are like spooning out the whole tub of ice cream, like in one sitting. It's like God damn. Anyway, every time I sit in front of a, you know, tub of ice cream, I always think about that guy. <laughs> anyway, guys, appreciate you, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Peace out.